guys this is a tutorial to separate the audio of a um, VLC or a game or Skype between VLC or a TeamSpeak between a game name it everything is possible so I have downloaded the virtual audio cable software it's free you can find a link in the description beneath this video it doesn't have limitations like uh, most software the most uh, kind of software like this have limitations like trial or uh, buy it now uh, etc so that's enough for the information of the software now I'm going to install the driver it will ask you to restart your computer but I didn't do that uh, it works without restarting this is a video of the Redditor Bronwater. Hold on, please wait. Hold on, please wait. You are almost there. Please wait another second. Please wait. Hold on, please wait. So I have already opened the uh, audio manager, it's in Dutch, um, now I'm going to configure the virtual cable input. Um, what you need to do is you need to set up the virtual cable as a default device as well for playing and um, recording. You need to listen to this recording device otherwise you can't hear the sounds that you are um, generating with the game uh, so that's set up what you need to do is uh, if you have any application like Skype or VLC or uh, Firefox you need to set up the audio to the normal device that you're normally using like speaker or headset uh, this is test I use the Mayong game. Frap selects the default uh, recording device. Uh, it's called recording external input. So as you can see, it's cable output, uh, the VB audio virtual cable. Uh, so it records virtually. So from here on, it only records uh, the game or application where you selected the cable output. So um, what you did is uh, you set up the virtual audio device as the default device so if you start the game right now it will record the sound of the game only not the other app recorded the video 